On to my next question that I have for you. Uh, what was the moment where you thought, like, yeah, this, like, pen testing or, or cybersecurity as an industry as a whole uh, was, was what you wanted to get into? I mean, throughout my teenage years, I always, you know, from movies and, and, and books and so forth, you know, hackers were mysterious and I always thought, oh, that would be really cool. But as a teenager, I really couldn't get into anything I could find when I type in, like, how to hack were some kind of like scam books that you can buy, you know, you pay money for bullshit knowledge that is maybe t already two decades old or something. I, I couldn't find an entry at all as a teenager. And so, but, but I loved computers. I was always into programming. I programmed a lot throughout my teenage years. So it was very clear to me that I would study computer science. Uh, so, you know, I, uh, I was making websites and stuff, started, started studying computer science, but then uh, I stumbled over uh, a CTF, like a, a war game for, from Stripe, the payment provider Stripe, they made like a recruitment challenge okay. thing with basics of binary exploitation. And that, I never heard of war games or CTFs before, that really hooked me. And I thought it was so interesting. And I realized that uh, the, the, the super basic buffer overflow ch challenge, with a bit of Googling, I was able to solve it because through computer science, I already understood the basics of assembler and registers and so forth. And and the name itself, buffer overflow, kind of made sense to me in some way. So uh, all of it came together and I realized, oh crap, I actually know enough to understand the basics of buffer overflow now. And that really motivated me. And I realized, you know, through that, I found other war games, other CTFs, and I realized I have an entry into security now. And so I did this while studying and working in computer science. Um, and at some point I realized, oh, maybe this could of, of course also be a career as when I realized I, I accumulated more and more experience. Okay. That's yeah, that's it. I think um, I, I honestly I didn't get into CTFs until like much, much later on. And I remember the first one um, I did was the Seesaw Wireshark um, uh, CTF challenge thing. And um, my previous role before doing anything CyberSec was as a network engineer. And um, that was like right up my alley. I was like, hell yeah, I know how to use Wireshark. This is going to be heaps of fun. And um, ah, yeah, nice. it was. I mean, yeah. yeah, it was it was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I definitely learned some stuff out of that and then got into the whole, like, all the other CTFs so, that exist so was, now. So was the, this challenge also the one that gave you a path into security or were there other things um, you were already trying to go into security? I wasn't really trying to go. I kind of accidentally got into uh, cybersecurity, to be honest. So I was, I was working as a, a network engineer and then that changed into a network security engineer um, because they needed some firewalls. Um, configured and then from there um, it was it was just like a snowball effect where I, I then got a, a government clearance started working for a government agency um, initially in a SOC and then in another position and um, yeah I mean the, the rest is history and that was that was probably like five years ago now five or six years um, so yeah it was it, I didn't actually do it on purpose um, at all I just started getting certifications for the jobs that I looked at and I was like oh you know I need these certifications to get that job so I'll um or well, that's what they're asking for at least anyway so I might as well have a go and see where it takes me but I was, I was pretty happy being a network engineer but um yeah I mean it I had a lot more fun um once I started yeah. doing security stuff as well yeah kind of um, same for me I, I I had a lot of fun doing computer science and development and then this new avenue that was just very motivating and exciting opened up but I would have no problem even today to go back or what, what let's not go back but to do development like I, I, yeah. I love programming I could totally see myself working as a programmer at some point maybe yeah yeah I, I suck at programming <laughs> I'm really bad at it it's a, probably why I haven't really done too much stuff with bug, um, yeah, bug bounties, um, just because mm. it, there is a, a bit of that in there. But um, sure. plus, it's really time consuming. So I mean, there is that as well.